Hi guys, welcome to Seven Money Show with me, Hoax Sean. Well, what a day it's been. Some people are blaming it on the bond yields, some people are blaming it on the quadruple witching hour, and there's another theory. I haven't been able to confirm it, but apparently news has come out that they are going to make shorts cover 100% of their position from the 19th of March. If this is true, it would make sense that they would try to get their shorts in today. Now, that along with all the other stuff just brings a trifecta of the market going down. And when all of this together hits the market, what happens then? You end up with stop losses being triggered as well, and bringing it down further. And it all, and then you start getting people thinking there's a crash coming, so they start selling out. This is why I said few weeks ago and I lost subscribers saying it make it sure you have cash on the side market will rebound and the bigger the dip the bigger the rip now there are some companies who are overvalued look at Apple it's always been a PE of around about 20. Now it's 34. And this at a time when uh, the much awaited 5G iPhone 12 sales have slowed. Why have they so slowed? Because people have been waiting for a 5G phone and then they've realised, hold on, if I wait until next year, who am I going to impress with my 5G phone? I can't go anywhere. Why do I need a 5G phone? I can't go anywhere. If I wait till next year, there'll be more masks up. And uh, the iPhone 12 will have been discounted because a new phone will have come out like the iPhone 13. So... That is what their people are thinking, and that is why Apple is also going down. And I said before in my What If program, if Apple, where it's such a heavy part, if that starts crashing, not that it is crashing, it's only going down a small part, but Really, if you take its average 20 PE and put that into uh, the parameters, it should be uh, uh, you put a 20 PE in price to sales. Uh, uh, you should come out with a $96 price target and people are being a bit more choosy recently look at SPACs there are a hell of a lot of SPACs that have had level of intense and they're quality SPACs now usually these companies will be $20, dollars a share once they have their level of intents. now they're back down to $10 10 to 11 dollars I'm surprised that people are not scooping them up but apparently SPACs are being shorted heavily as well you have a lot of them in space that uh, I think will make it into uh, Kathy's ETF so it's a good chance to Pick some up.
don't forget to hit that lovely like button and don't forget the sexy subscribe button a lot sexier than me just ask the wife and if you want to be a hero hit the bell notification you'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded and why not check out the links in the description below if you're looking for a free trading platform you get a free share with up to 200 pounds dollars depending on the platform you use if you deposit a small amount uh, why wouldn't you yeah i'll see you in the next video now just in case you didn't hear peloton issues a warning after child dies in tread and treadmill accident it's a terrible thing i don't know the ins and outs of it but the thing is they're saying children's and pets should not um, children and pets should not go near it so I don't know if it's Peloton's fault or if it's kids fault but it's very sad and I expect it to affect the share price now For those of you wondering about the NFL deal, Amazon has exclusive Thursday nights. Uh, it's an 11 year media day deal. And Disney will pay 2.7 billion a year for ESPN and ABC. And You can see the rest here. It deals amount for more than hundred billion. Yeah, Disney also uh, means the Super Bowl will return at ABC twice in the contract span. Now, all I can say is, with all the craziness that's going on out there, is maybe take a day, go over your research, check your price targets. I wouldn't sell unless you had to. Yeah. For those of you didn't know Kathy was an ARK Invest just bought a load of Kratos instant security solutions now it was in one of my picks for uh, uh, ETF and uh, I'm not surprised at the fact it's come down so much uh, also speaking about clean spark uh, clean spark offering they have said in the past they never do an offering unless they're going to make a huge acquisition which benefits shareholders more than the dilution last time it was for a crypto miner and i am looking forward to the next this one i'm wondering if it's that switch company microgrid switch company that i spoke about before or whoever it is i know it's going to be amazing and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to leave me a like, comment in the box below, and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you.